welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be starting a series showing you guys how to build a proper routine to help you actually get maximum gains with calisthenics. All right guys, so I'm gonna be showing y'all the stretches that you should be doing before your workout on a daily, on a daily basis and your pre-workout cardio that you should be doing as well as your after workout ab workout. So if you're new here and you want to see all things fitness to help you achieve your body goals, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of my new videos. So let's go ahead and start the stretching right now. All right, before doing any type of workout, I always think it's best to at least do the dynamic stretches. Dynamic stretches are things that help you prepare your body for movement. So you just want to do anything that's just movement based, helping you get your body ready for movement. And then you just hop into the war the warm up. And um these are things that I would do all the time. I would definitely do lots of stretches, especially for my legs, so I don't have any knee problems after any of my workouts. But um you always want to make sure you're stretching, take your time with it. If you need any other stretches for any muscles that I did not show you or hit upon in this video, definitely check out my other video. I have a full body calisthenics stretching video as well. It's one of my older videos, but you can check that out. I have a whole bunch of stretches on there for about every single muscle, I believe. But definitely make sure you check that one out. For warming up, you just want to make sure you're doing at least three minutes of any type of cardio to just warm up your body because you don't want to warm, you don't want to exercise and work out with your body cold. Think about it as like a rubber band. So you think the rubber band is going to stretch far if it's cold, like if it's frozen or if it's warmer and it's stretchy, flexible. It's going to be a lot easier to flex different muscles and also prevent injury if you warm up. So you always want to make sure you're warming up before any workout. So we have three different things that I would recommend you do for your actual warm up. I would either recommend the jump rope, which you can do. You can do that for 30 seconds on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off, so you don't tire yourself out. After that, you have the elliptical. It's low impact. It's good for people if you have knee problems. And then um, also, the next thing that you could do, you could jog on the treadmill for about three minutes. And by the end of any of those, your body will most likely be warmed up and ready to go for your workout. In the next video, the following one, I'm going to go and show you more of just the um, the back workouts, bicep workouts. It's all simple things, things that you do in calisthenics. I'm going to. Sh I have videos that also show you how to build up to these different exercises. So definitely make sure you check those out as well. I'll just leave a card there for you if you want to check that out. But make sure you come back to this video and drop a like if you have not done so already. It would definitely help me out a lot. Touching upon the core workouts or ab workouts, I say you should select about three of these exercises or at least try out my five minute home ab work. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I can recommend to you, but definitely try some of these exercises that I have displayed on the screen because these are really good exercises. That you can use these exercises to help you build up your abdominal strength and help you get a stronger core. So these exercises are really good when it comes to helping you improve your strength. All right, so remember, these are the three things that you need to be doing in every single workout. Stretching, the dynamic stretches. I believe the static stretches would come at the end of the workout. The static stretches are the ones where you actually hold it. Then you have to make sure you're warming up with some type of cardio to get your body warmed up. And then the final thing is just having a good ab workout to do at the end of every single workout so those are the three things that you're going to need for any of your workouts and if you guys enjoyed that just be sure to give me a thumbs up and if you have anything any any questions just comment it down below i will definitely get back to you guys and respond to that and if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos i got a lot of great content on the way but i'll catch you guys in the next video peace Thank you.